So, you know what's in the deck, and you and your friends have all gathered around to play a game. Each of you has picked a character that you'd like to play. Where do you go from there? First, I set some goals. First up, you'll deal out one more asset and goal card than you have players. So, say you have four players, you'll deal out five cards. Then, you'll go around the table, starting left with the dealer, picking a card that appeals to you. So, first, second, third, fourth. Then the dealer will deal out the same number of cards again. So, again, five. And then, starting with them, you go anticlockwise, picking a second, until everyone has one more card. So, you have your assets and goal cards, you have your basic move card and scene framing reference, you have your character deck. Let's dive into that and show you how you make a character. First up, you have the Making Your Servant card for other decks that need making the gadabout, etc. And this has a bunch of prompts you can use to guide you in making that character. A name idea, uh, personality ideas, what they look like, their appearance, etc. Once you've decided on ones for this, and of course you can go off menu if you like, if you have a good idea, uh, you can flip it over to be your trouble move card. And during the game, you'll be able to activate this to make your life more difficult, but also give you bonuses. Next up, you have your positive relationship. For the servant, it is your employer. This is someone who you have a special relationship to, so that when they're the main character in a scene, you can join in with them without needing an explanation. You will have some questions to answer between the two of you, and then you pass this to the character in question. Next up is the negative relationship. This is someone who makes your life more difficult. For the servant, it's someone who, however they do it, interrupts your preparations and your duties and sends you all in a quiver. Now, they can spend a token to disrupt you in some way. Uh, it varies from character deck to character deck. You work out who they are, flip this over and pass this to them. And that has everything they need to know on the back. Finally, you have the five moves. Now, these are the different abilities that servants can have and you will start with two of them. So you pick out the ones you want, put them to the side, and then flip over the remaining ones as tokens. This is your starting stock of tokens that you can use to activate moves in the game. And that's your game set up. Check out our next video for details on how to play the game.